Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out in bite-sized pieces. Today, that's a pretty interesting stuff on a Sunday. And uh, if you may notice, we are in Puerto Rico. So let's talk about what's going on in the markets. First up, Norwegian billionaire buys Bitcoin after calling for its ban last week. So the question really has to be asked, is this something that this billionaire is doing on the side or is it just something that they had a come to Jesus meeting and they said, Bitcoin's the one. On top of that, we'll take a look at a little Reddit uh, type of interview, which talks about how wife leaves the husband after he refused to sell Bitcoin at 60K and bought the dip. So for me personally, I think that the uh, wife may be better served just leaving him and him gaining all the rewards. And uh, we'll take a look at all those two things. But first, take a look at trade the chain of what's going on in the market today. It is, what is the day today, gentlemen? It's Island Life. I keep forgetting. Uh, March 28th. If you haven't noticed, we've got Alex Maschioli and Ryan Garman from Trade the Chain. They're here. They came all the way down to El Paso. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they came to uh, Puerto Rico and I met them up and uh, we just decided to do a little quick impromptu video and talk about what's going on in the market. So the first thing we should talk about is what exactly is happening today. So first up, first of all, how do you read this thing? Can you guys help me out? So Because I'm not the expert. You guys are the expert. What are we looking at? So what are we looking at? 1.73 trillion market cap? That's not too bad. No. All right, so let's take a look at the, what's, hold on, what's this? How does on Twitter? First of all, I don't know any of these things. Storage, near, anchor, ontology. Oh, storage. I know this uh, one. Solana. Solana. Yeah, Bitmax. ontology, anchor, Sorry. curve. Celery network? Bitmax. Cell network, okay. So these are all great things, and this is what we do to uh, satisfy our inner trader. But let's take a look what's going on first in the market and how things are going. So first of all, Bitcoin's at 50, first of all, it's $1.73 trillion and Bitcoin's still at 55,000. You think it'd be a little bit more There's higher. There's a lot of altcoin pumping going on this uh, season. So here's what we should do. After this, let's take a look at maybe what a good altcoin would be to invest in by using Trade the Chain, right? All right. Ethereum, 16, 7, no one cares. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody loves Ethereum. <laughs> this is that classic uh, example of, you know, weekend volatility just trading downward that we've talked about before on Trade the Chain, right? Like liquidity is thin mm. and volumes are thin on weekends. So if you have one big trader who wants to make a move and he does it during the weekend, it usually just drives the market down um, out in an outsized manner. This is why we have Ryan here. I don't Rob, know what that is. Rob, what's Tether doing? Tether, no one cares. So, <laughs> Cardano, Cardano's Cardano, Polka Dot, XRP, what do we got? 1.72. And I will just say one thing about XRP, and Ryan had pointed this out to me. He said, be very aware of what is going on with an asset that should have, should have really gone down precipitously. As XRP battles the SEC lawsuit, they're still in the top 10. And to me, that's amazing. And Ryan brought it to my attention. So, XRP holders, congratulations. Theta token up a little bit, 6%. Again, one of the strongest holds. Is anything really up majorly? Stellar? No. Solana, 15%. Speaking of which, this is the great thing about Trade the Chain. This is what I have these gentlemen here for. So if we take a look at what's this thing called one hour projected range. If we click on that, it'll bring up some potentially good things that, to trade into, like this. First of all, does anybody know what this is? No, there's so many coins. Digital, Digital note? Digital note. You know, that BitMax token, number six, looks to be uh, hungry. On the way up. Very bullish. So just so you know, this middle part here, 2%, with 90% accuracy, Trade the Chain is going to tell you it's going to go up 2% uh, within about an hour. 14% potentially, or negative 10. So there's a big uh, swath of uh, percentages. But if you look at it and you want to do this kind of trade, would you guys trade on this? I mean, it's got a very bullish score of 103 in the long-term sentiment. I think long-term, it's a good buy and hold. I'm not sure if I'd uh, swing trade it today, though. So this is why I like trade the chain, because I, yeah. I don't know a ton about technicals. That's what CJ does. But I'm glad this is here to make things just brain dead simple. If you want to take a look at a trial of this, look in the description below, trade the chain, check it out. Let's get a day's top story, shall we? First up, I'm glad these two guys are here. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. It's because this story right here, when I read it, this Norwegian billionaire, when he talks about how at first he was like, he was anti-Bitcoin, and then a week later he was all about it. So when I'm going to talk about this, in your mind, question yourself, is this guy just had a come to Jesus meeting and he, like, he finally gets it and sees the light, or do you think this is a typical case of 
high-powered manipulation. So, what do we got? Well, first up, Norwegian Kroner billionaire. Huh, I'm not even going to try this Oysten one. Oysten Streis Bettelen? Perfect. <laughs> there we go. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Has invested heavily in both Bitcoin and local crypto exchange uh, Mirai X, not Miralax, which is what I kept reading. After lambasting the crypto just last week, he said this. Okay? He bought an undisclosed amount of Bitcoin, newsflash, probably a boatload, as well as invested in Norwegian cryptocurrency exchange Mirai X. And here's what he says. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. He says, March 18th, he said the crypto is hostile to the environment and asserted that regulators in the EU should outright ban it. And after speaking with the founders of Mirai X, he, t he said this. He goes, look, I change when the facts change. I met with these founders the day after the podcast recorded in early March. Boys, I was wrong. And when I also read that, uh, Je help me. Kjell Ng wrote. Perfect. Had gone into Bitcoin. It was quite <laughs> obvious. I can't bear to see that Roke made money and not me. So this is why I'm glad these two guys are here because they know more of these billion dollar hedge funds and these power players than I definitely do sitting in little El Paso. So reading this article, do you think it's just a, I figured it out in seven days? Or do you think this is like, <laughs> I got to manipulate because I'm a manipulator. Yeah, I mean, I think Ryan and I have said this over and over again. Um, the majority of people like this, they tend to be podium standers, mm -hmm. right? So they see a platform that is, you know, very bullish and it, it can elevate their businesses or their self-importance. And so they hop along on the bandwagon. Now, I could be very much wrong. Um, and maybe this guy saw the light after seven days or whatever time frame. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I mean, Brian. He's, not, he's not the first guy to, to see the light. I mean, we have other high profile uh, executives who have pulled similar moves who shall go nameless. But um, it's not unprecedented. And, you know, it, it almost sounds like a personal vendetta. This guy made money doing this, and I'm yeah. not going to let him be the only one. I'm, he FOMO'd into this, in, like, he, he well FOMO'd into it. Well, FOMO. <laughs> and that's the thing that everybody has to realize is that you can FOMO into anything no matter how much or how little money you have. So the, this, is, this is what I see. Like if you've got some, a big power player like this and he FOMOs in, how many other big whales could FOMO in as well? As they, as they start to look around and go, oh, that billionaire or that multimillionaire did it, he's not going to make more than me. Because I think it's like one of those types of situations, right? Sure. Very well could be. Um, you know, good luck to him. Uh, I'm glad he's in the mix now, uh, whether he meant to be or not. So we'll see. Well, listen. To me personally, I just think it like this. As long as they're here in this, in our arena, I'm happy to have them here. So, yeah. Godspeed, soldier. And that's about it. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's go on to our next piece. So, the next piece here, it's just interesting because as time goes on, I think this is going to happen more and more for not just, not just couples, but just you in your own mind as when should I actually sell? Now, I personally have a hard time selling. That's why I screwed up in 2017. I try to get this exit strategy and I still fail at it sometimes. So when I see something like this, I get it. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, Reddit poster named Parking Meter, that's M-E-A-T-E-R, <laughs> not meter, says his wife left the house as he didn't agree to sell the Bitcoin when prices post the new all-time highs at the time. In fact, Parking Meter was caught by his wife adding more money to his Bitcoin position. <laughs> I never thought I would see where I'd be like, someone caught, the wife caught him, his name is Meter, and it was all about Bitcoin, but here we are. <laughs> and he states this, she just left to go stay at her sister's. She's super mad that I didn't sell at 60K and looks at the price often scolding me. I keep telling her we don't need the money. We live nice. However, today she caught me buying more. Now she packed the bags and wanted her sister to stay. She said not to talk to her. So that's pretty much it. And then he goes on and people kind of make fun of him. I, down. I, I have a strong... So, I mean, <laughs> this kind of happened with me as well. And um, my wife walked in on me <laughs> buying more Bitcoin. Sure. And we just opened up the relationship. So, no. yeah, I mean, we're happy now. So we've accepted it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're happy now, especially because Bitcoin went from what to what? She's like, I knew it the whole time, baby. I loved you. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? I think that she was looking for a reason. I mean, this guy's <laughs> got a successful position in an investment that's clearly on an upswing, and she walks out the door. Yeah. I don't see it. No. Well, yeah. 
I agree with both those positions, and I will just say this. If it's on Reddit, it's 100% true. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, absolutely. And I think we all know that. But I will say, <laughs> I, I will say this. My wife even, even told me, she goes, hey, and she'll tell me every single day, hey, you know, Bitcoin's at this price. She's like my, my coin gecko right now. And I'm like, yes, I, uh, yeah, I know. My wife checks the Voyager app more often than I do. Exactly. Same, same. She's like, I, it, we're here now? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're here now. But, but now that she say that, she goes, she'll say, hey, Bitcoin's this. And the next thing she says is, don't forget about 2017. Because mm -hmm. she knows exactly how I screwed up. Just earlier, she was saying that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so one of these things, like I will just say, to, to, to wrap this all up, I can see how this would happen. But what Alex said, I can see. But what Ryan just said is, she's probably with her new boyfriend right now. Because if you're that successful and you're like, hey, I got this money and Bitcoin and everything else, <laughs> oh. it wasn't about that. And, his and, it, and, if, and if the husband and wife <laughs> happen to watch this video, please leave your comments below. We want to hear them. Can't, can't wait to hear the rest of this story. Please. <laughs> all right. So that was, that was a short one. We just want to throw something together. First of all, I want to thank Alex and Ryan for coming in. Really appreciate them coming by. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks guys. And that is it for today. So if you liked the video, go ahead and throw it a thumbs up. It uh, really helps the, the channel tremendously. Also consider subscribing. Other things we talk about, like Mr. Meter, is like super, <laughs> super important. And that's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. See you on the next one. Thanks everyone.